Humans of New Mexico. We are a community project collecting the oral histories of everyday New Mexicans. My name is Estefania Ortiz um, for my paternal last name and Bias for my mom's last name. Um, I am 25 years old. I was actually born in Chihuahua, Mexico. We uh, migrated here to Farmington when I was two years old. Um, we've been here ever since, haven't gone home uh, to Mexico since then. Um, I'm the middle child. Uh, I have a younger sister who is a U.S. born citizen and uh, my oldest brother who uh, is 32 years old, um, married, two kids, uh, five and ten are my nephew's ages. Um, he uh, is actually uh, recently been deported. Um, it's been a year since his deportation. Um, and I'm documented. Um, I uh, applied for DACA four years ago when it first came out in 2012. Um, oh wow, that's been five years. Um, so that's basically what we've um, been experiencing in my family with, as far as um, uh, deportation affects directly, right? I think I found out when, that I was undocumented when I was like in fifth grade. Um, it was like, okay, my parents absolutely hate me. Like, I would make it to honor choir and they'd be like, oh, competitions in Las Cruces. Like, come, you should get your parents to let you go. And it was like, hey, mom, look at this. Like, I made honor choir. They want me to compete at the state competition. And they'd be like, no, you can't go. And you can't go. And then eventually that you can't go is like literally, there's a checkpoint where you can't come back. Mabel Gonzalez when I was in high school and it was like whenever she says you know what like you're undocumented but you can get really far in life and I believe in you it was like okay like I can do this you know and then she ended up taking us uh, through enlace to um, the Hispanic Youth Symposium in Albuquerque at UNM and um, my mom actually stayed with my son and uh, I was able to participate like in staying in the dorms and basically kind of experiencing the college life, quote unquote. Um, so I think Mabel is definitely one of the people that I admire um, because, you know, she's one of those people that sees potential in anyone. Um, and I think as an amazing person as she has, uh, been to me and as much work as she was able to do in Farmington because honestly like before in Lase and before Mabel it was like well, Okay, we're graduating high school and that's gonna be the end of our education um, But like I said Mabel came in and you know she brought people from UNM which is where I met Mabel Arellanes as well and it was like I met her and she had a son as well I was like what she's going to UNM and she has a kid like she was just like an inspiration and um, she recently graduated from UNM Law School so she continues her the the two Mabeles are my my biggest inspirations the power of sharing our stories it's like putting a face to the number because um, I think sometimes we're just looked at there's only you know there's 11 million undocumented people like no, I'm not a number. This is my reality. This is my family. These are my children. These are my parents. And this is how I hurt. And this is how my children hurt whenever you threaten separation of the family. Humans of New Mexico. We are a community project collecting the oral histories of everyday New Mexicans. You can find all of our stories, including this one, by visiting our website at www.humansofnewmexico.com or connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and SoundCloud where you can listen to and view full interviews and transcripts. Stay human, New Mexico!